Abdominal aortic aneurysm. Abdominal aortic aneurysms are life-threatening conditions that require prompt recognition and management. Case presentation. A 68-year-old male presented to the emergency department with severe left-sided loin-to-groin pain lasting one hour. The patient reported no urinary or bowel symptoms, but had significant medical history, including hypertension, diabetes mellitus, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. He smoked 20 cigarettes per day and consumed 30 to 40 units of alcohol weekly. On examination, his temperature was 35.9 degrees Celsius. Pulse rate was 115 beats per minute. Blood pressure was 89 over 48 millimeters of mercury. Respiratory rate was 24 breaths per minute, and oxygen saturation was 94% on room air. His abdomen was distended, diffusely tender, and a pulsatile mass was palpable in the upper abdomen. Diagnosis The clinical presentation suggests a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm. An abdominal aortic aneurysm is defined as a dilatation of the abdominal aorta exceeding 50% of its normal diameter, which is typically greater than 3 cm for the infrarhinal aorta. Key diagnostic features include abdominal pain, a pulsatile abdominal mass, and hypotension. It is important to exclude a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm in all patients over 65 years of age presenting with abdominal, loin, or groin pain especially if they have risk factors such as smoking, hypertension, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or peripheral vascular disease. Investigations Point-of-care ultrasound is a rapid and non-invasive tool that can confirm the presence or absence of an aortic aneurysm. However, it has limitations. It cannot reliably rule out leaks, and visualization may be obscured by obesity or overlying bowel gas. Contrast-enhanced CT scan. The gold standard imaging modality has a sensitivity of nearly 100% and provides detailed information about the aneurysm size, location, and complications, such as impending rupture, contained leakage, or frank rupture. Investigations should not delay emergency treatment. Immediate actions include placing the patient in the resuscitation room, inserting at least two 14-gauge cannulae, and drawing blood for a full blood count, renal function tests, coagulation profile, and cross-matching at least six units of blood. Permissive hypotension. Permissive hypotension is a strategy to avoid aggressive fluid resuscitation. The goal is to maintain the lowest systolic blood pressure that ensures vital organ perfusion, typically around 90 millimeters of mercury systolic. Aggressive fluid administration can exacerbate bleeding by increasing wall tension and vessel wall stress. Consider activating the major transfusion protocol if the systolic blood pressure falls below 90 millimeters of mercury or the heart rate exceeds 110 beats per minute. Prepare for urinary catheterization, arterial line placement, and central venous access. Fluid resuscitation. Use packed red blood cells as the first-line agent for fluid resuscitation. Avoid excessive fluid administration to prevent worsening of any potential leak. Administer intravenous morphine for pain control to reduce wall tension and cardiac contraction. Referral and surgical intervention. A ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm carries a 100% mortality rate if not repaired immediately. Urgent referral to a vascular surgeon is mandatory. Treatment options include open surgery for direct repair of the aneurysm or endovascular aneurysm repair, which involves femoral artery catheterization and stent insertion. For incidental or asymptomatic abdominal aortic aneurysms, refer males with an aneurysm greater than 5.5 cm or females with an aneurysm greater than 5 cm for repair. Monitor asymptomatic aneurysms measuring 2 to 5.5 centimeters with regular ultrasonography and outpatient follow-up. Key takeaways. A ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm is a surgical emergency requiring immediate intervention. Risk factors include age greater than 65 years, smoking, hypertension, 
chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and peripheral vascular disease. Diagnostic tools like point-of-care ultrasound and contrast-enhanced computed tomography scans are essential. Permissive hypotension aims for systolic blood pressure of approximately 90 millimeters of mercury to minimize bleeding. Early referral to a vascular surgeon is critical for optimal outcomes. By adhering to these principles, healthcare providers can improve survival rates and outcomes for patients with suspected or confirmed abdominal aortic aneurysms. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.